Hey everyone, it's Paolo. So, my favorite show right now is Younger on TV Land. Let me just tell you, this cast is so good. And today, I'll be talking to one of the stars of it, Miriam Shore, who plays Diana Trout. We just love to hate her in the show, so I can't wait to go talk with her. See you in the studio. His life was changed and made new when an angel made his dream come true. And now he brings his dream to you. And it's so full, Is everything on? Everything's good? Yeah? Sei pronto? Sì, sì. pronto, prontissima. Prontissima. Ok. Can I just tell you that I love not just you so much, <laughs> but younger. Like I don't even know to because it's such a good show. Oh, I yeah, started I watching so it when it came out last year. I think it was like the first episode at the end of March, and it's such a good show. Thank you. I mean, really. We like it. Yeah, congratulations on the success. Thank on you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, now, I think some people don't know is that you and Darren Starr work together, who's yes. also the creator of Younger, yes. and as we know, the creator of Sex and the City. Yes. But you two Little work together. I don't know if everyone knows what I don't that think, one. You, you know, Google it if you don't know yeah. what it is, okay? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a mildly yeah, successful yeah. show. Yeah, with four girls. Um, but <laughs> what they don't know is that you, he is now, if you don't know, he's a part of Younger. Oh, yeah. Now, did he cast you in this, or did you have to audition for yeah, it? Yeah, you know, he called me. I worked with him on a show called GCB. I loved working with him and he called me and asked if I would come test, which is like the final audition uh, yeah. for this role. And I was like, well, well, Darren Starr calls you. I mean, how do you say no? And then he was like, it's going to film in New York. And then he said Sutton was going to be in it, who I've known for years. And I was like, so there's yes to all of Sutton this. Foster, all yes. of it is a yes. And Gosh. then it worked out. It worked out. And That's I so... could not be happier. For those who are just tuning in, um, what is Younger about? Like, what, what is the whole concept okay. of it? So um, it centers on Liza, who is uh, played by Sutton Foster. Foster. And she is 40 years old. She uh, gave up her career in publishing to raise her daughter, who's now going to college. And she thinks, I'm going to go back pick up where I start, you know, left off, and mm -hmm. no one will hire her as a 40-year-old woman coming in, uh, you know, on the bottom rung of the ladder. So she decides to lie and say she's in her 20s. And, and I, it works. It works. It works. And I am her uh, heinous boss who hires her. <laughs> Difficult, difficult, oh, we're going to talk about you in a little bit. Um, but that's, okay. the, that's, so she's basically living this lie of having to pretend she's in her 20s, but she's really... Uh, in, you know, 40, mm -hmm. and so uh, hilarity ensues. God, what's it like for you driving to the set every day? Like, what are you most looking forward to when you're there, would you say? I'm so excited to, that it shoots in New York, and that New York is very much a part of the show, because yeah. that's what Darren is really, really good at. He did it with Sex and the City, yep. and he's doing it with this, um, just incorporating that, because I love New York. I've had a love affair with it for my life, my whole life, and um, I love that. But I also just love, like, I, I love everybody I work with. Everybody yeah. I work with. When it's, you when you say everyone, there's one in particular that I love so much. Hillary Duff. Oh, Miss Hillary Duff. I, oh, listen, 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 I, I mean, I used to watch her, like, on Lizzie McGuire, and then following her career, whatever she does, I watch whatever she sells, I buy. So, like, <laughs> give, me, give me an example. Like, what's a day like when you see Hillary? Like, how, what do you guys talk about? Well, let me tell you, first of all, that, and you'll be glad to know that Hillary Duff is such a nice person, mm. like such a good person. That's why so I love her so much. So down to earth, so genuine, so sweet, mm. so thoughtful. And I don't know how, but she she started out, I mean, she was a child star yeah. in Hollywood. That has and it not worked out so like well for everybody. Ones. That has not worked out for a lot of people. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say, exactly, yeah. yeah. But she, I mean, she's got her feet on the ground, you know, and she's lovely. I feel like all those people who grew up on Lizzie McGuire, yeah. She's exactly who that girl, who you would want that girl to be. That is who she is. Oh and she's just real. You just made me so happy right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. I just, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so your character, uh, Trout Pout. Mm -hmm. uh, Diana mm -hmm. Trout. Um, yes, so t okay, she's a little evil. But not, is to, she? Not, not to the extent where she's going to murder someone yet. We haven't seen season two. Season but, four and five. Oh you? God, let's not go that far. But uh, um, what, as an actress, what did you do to prepare for that? Did you have to know her backstory or did you just know off the bat, okay, this is how she is and I'm just going to play it this way? Yeah, you know, I did talk with Darren a little bit about her. Uh, I think the writers are great. And so I think the writing is really good. It, mm -hmm. it gives you m most of what you need, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if a character's well, and I feel like they've developed her really well too. They've shown that she is a three-dimensional person mm -hmm. and they've given her um, textures that you would, that are surprising, you know, yep. um, but it's really fun. I understand. You have new responsibilities, Liza. You have to keep a lot of plates spinning. But my plates take priority. My plates can't drop. My plates are the reason you still get a paycheck. Got it? Got it. You're gonna have to be two people, Liza. You think you could do that? I think I can. What 
is that, some sort of plaid diaper? Hello, we all think of Miranda and Dolores Prada. When you walk in there and like, coffee please. <laughs> I know. Well, I love that people keep bringing up Meryl Streep and me so in the good. same time. Yeah. Oh, same that's, time. Good. that's good. It's I, good. It's good. I will never have a problem with that. <laughs> and now her her outfits. We were just saying about her outfits. Now this is all from season one. But can we just say like your outfits, the necklaces that you wear? Okay, we call this the Flava Flav, uh, but some people called it the Golden Donuts. It's the Flava Flav. I call. I feel like if Flava Flav was like at a jewelry store and he saw that, he'd be like, "Oh, that's too much. Oh my God. We can't do that." Um, uh, this was the Harry Potter because it just looks like these are all things that could unlock rooms in Hogwarts. <laughs> because of the key to I love yeah. that. And then this, I actually wear this again in season two. You do? Uh, yeah. Oh. And, um, and that's like the amulet from Raiders of the Lost Ark that shows oh. him where the Ark is. Um, oh so yeah, God. these are all really special. <laughs> um, but I love it because I feel like Diana is fearless. Yes. Maybe she should have a little more fear. Yeah, just, I, I, just so I notch it up, notch it up just That's a little. That's her. That's her. Yes. She just takes it a little too far. She's ambitious. She's strong. Yeah, she's fearless, and it just she just pushes it to a level where you're like, okay. Do you transform when you're in the hair and makeup and you're in outfits? Do, do you look at yourself in the mirror like that's it? Yes, it really helps you build who this person is. I also feel like Diana puts it on like armor mm -hmm. before she goes into battle. You know, we could see that, and then she yeah. like this is how she kind of you know rules her kingdom, her queendom. <laughs> Uh, and so it's very much a part of it. I'm curious, is there any qualities of Diana that you, Miriam, you wish you had a little more of? Yeah. What, what would that I be? I feel like she is powerful and ambitious and completely unapologetic about mm. that. And I feel like I, a lot of women in particular, but a lot of people, and definitely myself, I'm, we, I will apologize for mm. any, any kind of, you know, being in any kind of powerful position or, or having ambition or, you know, for qualities that you should feel confident about. There's a lot of like apology or backpedaling when yeah. you should be allowed to be proud of yourself, yeah, you know? Yeah. So she again takes it just one step, one step. too far. <laughs> um, and that's what's fun. But, uh, but I, I admire that. I admire yeah. that in a woman who's in a, who had to like make her way to the top, who's like, I deserve to be here. I'm curious, when, during your career, when did you know, like, as an actress, that I could live off this, that this, th whatever show or, or that I mean, it was? it'll be soon. <laughs> I think I'll get there. Uh, yeah, but, you know, by the way, every actor in the world, is, any job that ends, they're like, well, yeah. that was my last job. I guess it was good. Well, it's it. tough. It's it, tough. It is, it is I, tough. You know, I, I, the first time I ever made a paycheck, which was, I was in college, and I got my uh, equity card, which is the union card you get when you do plays. Yeah, yeah. And I did a play. And which is what I was studying theater, and they gave me a paycheck, and I was like, "Are you for real? Like, oh like my God. I can." It, and I just like my, I just it was like a light going off, just being like, "Oh, I can do this for a living." Wow. You know, and and so I, I just thought, "All right, I'll I'll give this a try." But you know, as much as I know, like this business, it can be hard. tough. One day yeah. could be like, oh my God, this is the best. I just want a Grammy and an Oscar. And the next day it's like, what? You gotta live so, in the now. Have, did you ever throw in the towel? Did you ever feel like, okay, this is too tough? Just to inspire other people who are watching out there. Like, did you ever feel you know like you what? were gonna give up, but then you didn't? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of stories of friends of mine and myself, moments when you're like, I just don't know if this is gonna work out for me. And then it's just really digging your feet in and, and just really giving it a go you know mm. it's it's it takes courage mm. but i feel that way about any yeah. endeavor yes. not just acting yeah. Yeah, right? right i feel Even, like this yes, you know exactly. it's I, hard to get guests on the show it is but if you I believe feel like, in it go for just it do it right i mean it. life is short and nothing is sure at this point so like i feel like you gotta you yeah. owe it to yourself if it's something that is is a passion for you and i also believe that like rejection early on is good because yeah. that's what, there's going to be rejection if you fold if you think. I like, used to not think that, but as we do this show, I totally agree with you on that. It's, it's yeah. true. It's I didn't okay get into get the schools I wanted it, to get into. Mm. I didn't get the roles I wanted to. But at and, the time, you're like you're just you're sad, you're yeah. miserable. But okay. then it changes. So when I was 16, I wanted to play Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh my god! At our little um, you know community theater, and I did not get cast as Dorothy, and it devastated me. I got cast as the Wicked Witch. Yeah, and I was like. And then I realized that sort of set my career. <laughs> you knew where it was going. Well, but you know what? Dorothy's out of a job at 30, my friends. The witch is going to work <laughs> till the end. Oh, so uh, it was, that was kind of a lesson of like what I thought I wanted or what I thought, you know, I, I was after. It was not necessarily what was the right thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so 
I, I think it's good. You know, well, having little kids now, realizing like two beautiful, it's ones. oh, two beautiful little girls. Yes. Yes. Getting to realizing like, okay, I gotta let them not succeed. You know, at mm. everything and and learn that that's not the end of the world. Yeah, like yeah. doesn't work out. Keep going. See what happens. Mm, you're such an inspiration. Well, I am. you really are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna a little fun now. Uh -oh. We're gonna okay, see okay. how well <clears throat> you know your co-stars. So I have some questions for you. Oh boy. Good luck. Starting with the first one. Here we go. Which one of your co-stars is BFF with Madonna? Well, I mean, this is also the other person I want to be when I grow up, Debbie Mazar. Oh my God, that, call me, uh, call me. Can I, I just, remember. bye. Yeah, she, she, did, <laughs> she did start a story once, like, so, so Madonna, me, and Naomi Campbell walk into a club, and I was like, so, no, right there. So we don't need to hear the rest. I'm, I'm, the story's already the best story I've ever heard. Oh my God. You don't even need to continue. I'm not, this is the greatest story I've ever heard. <laughs> She's so great on this show, I love her. her. That's good. Okay, um, how many Tony Awards does Sutton Foster have? That's a dose. Bonus points if you can name them. Okay, Thoroughly Modern Millie, and um, 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 an olden days of musicals, anything goes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna give you a big check after this. Uh, the where's next my is, Tony? Where's my Tony? <laughs> no? It's coming soon, it's coming okay, soon. Okay, okay. Which one has a famous sister who has her own cooking show? Oh, uh, Hillary. <gasps> ah, yeah. gotcha, we almost got you. Bonus points if you can name her. Uh, Haley. Yeah, that's good. Haley, Haley. Haley. Oh, God, this is so yes. good. Okay, um, who played the Virgin Mary in three different shows in college? I was. That's good. <laughs> Something about me. Apparently, just says incredibly holy. Oh my God. Just so a good. holy, holy mother. Oh my God. So good. <laughs> yeah, three Very times. Holy. What? Okay. Uh, now the last one. If all four of you were cast in a remake of Sex and the City, who do you think would best play each character? Here it is. Wait. Okay. So here's. Them, and then who do you think? Look at your coat. I mean, we'll start with Carrie. I mean, Carrie. Wouldn't we say that Carrie was? Uh, it feels like it goes like this. Carrie sat. Okay. Here, here, and here. Does it feel like that, or would we switch this one with this one? Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm a Samantha. Okay. I don't know. I mean, here's what I. I, I have my own that I'm going to show you. You after. tell me yours. No, no. I, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, That's then, what I say. If I'm the casting, this is who we decided. Who is who? Okay. Ready? Okay, so this is who is who then I think. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and read. This is how we this is how Paolo and Patrick cast you guys. Here's what I would like to say. I look good as a redhead. <laughs> I mean, that is amazing. You look so you good. Look that. That's incredible. So this is the this is the remake. Yeah, this is the new Sex in the City. Okay, you this is show it. Me, you just give me that second. This show is for you. This frame. It this is? is for you. Yeah, okay, this is. I'm gonna show yeah, this Darren. Is for you. We have our own. You yes. Love that. Okay, so that's for you to take uh, on. So that's, that's the new really one. That's really funny. Yeah. But <laughs> I do have this to say too. Like, I think that women are more than just four characters. I think mm -hmm. we have hundreds of, mm. of different personalities Ooh, we so can good. show. But yes. I do feel like something about this show created these iconic women that everybody would start to, yeah. you know, say like, well that, I'm more of a Samantha and I'm more of a, you know, yeah. I found that really, really interesting that they so related with the characters it's that true. they really would dissect themselves with using the characters, yeah. you know, kind of yeah. psychoanalyze it, themselves. Yeah, oh my God, I just, you know, you just keep doing what you're doing because every time we're watching, it's Wednesday nights on TV Land, Younger, nice. okay? I just have to say congratulations because you, you, so you are just killing it oh, and have you. fun with it. Because it's really fun. That role was was made for you. It really wow. was. It really was. And we love watching you. And you just, you're making me so happy. Oh, me too. It was so great. I love this. I'm staying. Oh, she loves She said she's staying. So we're going to continue because she's going to eat now, okay? No, so I definitely thank you. Am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't forget Younger TV Land on Wednesday nights. You better watch it. It's so good. <laughs> Season two. Thank Yay, you so much. Course. You're a joy. This is amazing. Yay! <laughs> Spoonful of follow. <laughs> I love you, Oprah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>